but I was thinking about that today too. I'm thinking like, it's too bad, you know, our country is becoming so polarized and so disunited, like the disunited states or the divided states mm-hmm. of America, which it makes it kind of a, a terrible situation if you want to get anything done for the common good or for the community of, of people. With. And I was just, I was making notes today of, of just thinking about, uh, it's just too bad that we have this attitude in our country that, you know, freedom is everything or for a lot of people. It's like, don't, don't bother me with your problems. You know, I'm, I'm it is, you know, it just is. solve your own problems, be on your own, be an individual, be a man or whatever, you know, it's like, it is sad. Yeah. Um, I just want to say that uh, Leroy says, just want to say greetings. I'm from Anchorage, Alaska, and I'm joining in to learn more. I will work on getting the microphone operational, can hear very well. I'm glad that yeah. you, you're hearing well, Leroy, and thank you so kindly for being here. Man, you're in Alaska. Hey, I'm originally <laughs> from Central America. That is like maybe 100 degrees uh, in difference <laughs> between where yeah, I'm from. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of right in the middle of Michigan, so it's like... Yeah, it's so all, I, 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 all I can do is salute you for being able to handle that cold, my brother. I can only salute you. But, you know, I want to respond to what you had to say, um, Tom, because here's, here's why I take the stance that I take. And why not only that, but I respect guys like uh, even Ledo, Mike Cisek, and all the right-wingers and so forth. Not the politicians, the people. Right. And the reason why is, if you ever sit down and just talk to people, right? Forget about their ideology and all of that. Don't talk, for for one second, don't talk politics. Talk about the things that you want. Talk about the things that you would like to see happen in your community. It is so amazing that it would be pretty damn similar, you know? Now, what generally happens then is people try to find a way to make the things that the little difference of one thing and the other that you'd want and, and play that up. It is like, let's look at the critical race theory, right? Oh yeah. The critical race theory, I find it kind of interesting because we want, we, we, we learn in school that the reason we teach history is so that we don't make the same mistakes over and over again. That's what we, that's what we teach, right? Exactly. And we don't teach history to say, uh, white people are bad or, or anything like that. Because you know what's so funny? Uh, as somebody once said, there were black people in the South with slaves as well. I'm not trying to equate things at all. So black people don't knock me out for saying this. Right. But what I'm trying to say is that humanity has a common string, right? Humanity has a common thread. And that common thread is that we all have the predisposition to do good or do wrong. We all do. And it's right. it's not it's not hue based, it's not pigment based, it's not race based. It so happened to be that in these times, there is a, a where power is concerned, we know where it's at. So if, if people start to learn that kind of stuff and also realize that things that I try to preach on my show, and, and Leroy, I hope you start coming to our show at politicsandright.com slash TV every day, every weekday at four Eastern, three three central. What I, what I like to point out is that racism is not a black against of a black thing only. It actually hurts white people. It hurts everybody, you know? And if you can actually get people to understand that they are using my pigmentation to screw their own and uh, their, the, 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 the people of their own pigment, that is, that is so stupid. Pigment, pigment, pigment. That doesn't mean anything, right? Pigment is stupid, right? right? right. But I mean, still, cool. they're, in other words, by they're, they're using that division so that they can further pilfer people that look like them. Yeah, you know, you know what the problem is? That I was thinking of this too, the hue, hue man, you know, you talk about hue man. So hue is, is, part of our, is part of who we are. We always judge by appearances, which is it's sad. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but what really is the, the color problem today, I think is green. Hey, you know, exactly. Yeah, and well, green for money and also green for nature. So we've mm-hmm. got this two, the two greens involved here. We, should we help nature or should we help, you know, should we just be concerned about ourselves and go for money? And I don't know if you got a chance to read it. It's it's a it's a real interesting article. But David Brooks, 
just came out with a, an article uh, kind of uh, critiquing his own thinking of 10 years ago. It, it, it's, it, it, he wrote this article called, um, oh God, I don't know the exact title. It's, it's about the Bobos. I don't know. Is it's it his like, latest article or is it one of yeah, his latest? Yeah, it's, it's in the Atlantic. I'll look and it up. I'll look it up. I posted because... a link now. But just Google uh, David Brooks Bobo right. in, in Atlantic. And the articles, it's quite a long article, but it's really, I had to read it twice. But I think it's really interesting because he goes through this critique of what's going on in America. And he he had, he had he, he was actually self-critical. He says, yeah, I'm one of the Bobos. And Bobo stands for bourgeoisie bohemians. And he talks, <laughs> what and a I nice thought it really, yeah. And it's and he gets into this thing about money. He says people that get into wealth and status, and they get into this culture. Uh, uh, he calls it the creative culture, and they get it. They and it looked like he said, "Oh, this is great." At first, he says they're gonna they're gonna change America because they have progressive attitudes, and it turns out that really the first thing they, 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 they do when they get into the status is they insulate themselves. Mm -hmm. They start thinking, they start thinking like the ultra wealthy, maybe even that, that they're not ultra wealthy, but they right. start insulating themselves from the rest of the world. And it becomes a, a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. They, they start thinking just like each other and they want to exclude everybody else. And this, this has to do with buying uh, you know, into schools, uh, Ivy League schools, and 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 cheating on tests, and and doing and 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 making sure that your your wealth status continues to grow, so you can protect your kids and your legacy. And people just get so selfish at that level. And it's and he he was very upset about it, and it um, and he kind of diagnosed all the different segments of society. I didn't really quite understand all. What he was talking about. I want to read it again, but I got to check I it out. He, that sounds I think interesting. He's got a good point. And yeah, he, I'm he, gonna, he took, yeah, I'm going to check it out because um, I have a this love hate relationship with David Brooks. You know, yeah, because, yeah. Sometimes uh, he comes out. He's so conservative. Yeah, but but I, but there are some times that he write as some, some zingers that are really really good. So I'm going to try. I'm going to I'm going to look that one up and uh, check it out. Yeah, because he. He, he talks about wealth and income. It's mostly wealth inequality, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's even more subtle than that. It's, it's, it's beyond money. It's more of a cultural thing, which I thought was an interesting way of looking at it. Because I right. see it around me, you know, in Brighton. I mean, there's this, you, we have poor people here too, but you know, I'm, they probably vote straight cons conservative Republican mm -hmm. because they have this cultural mindset that you know, this is the group I'm in and, and I want to identify with, you know, the people here and, they don't see themselves as part of a, a, a bigger uh, culture and, and, and part of a problem that needs to be resolved. So it's, it's, that's one of the things the Democrats have to work on in, in trying to appeal to the poor people of rural America and the people that are left out in the working class. We have to s broaden that whole movement so that everybody feels connected. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.